Sounds like something Hollywood would make up. But believe it or not, it is truth that inspires fiction. Everything you learned about the inner earth is all a theory. We never been there, nor do we truly know what lies beneath. However, there's scientific evidence that supports that there is indeed another ocean beneath our very own feet. It was discovered due to a volcanic eruption in Brazil that brought up a water-bearing mineral called ringwoodite. This mineral is found deep within the earth. It proved that wherever it's located, water can be found in abundance. What's interesting is the Bible mentions the fountains of the great deep breaking loose, insinuating that the waters from the great flood came from within. Waters above, waters below. There are also many other cultures who mention a world within our own. The Mayans mention it in the Popova. Then there's the Nation of Islam teaching of Yakub. He came from an advanced group of beings who could live well over 800 years. They also inhabited the inner earth. Admiral Richard Byrd mentions how he traveled to the inner earth through the North Pole. How he was escorted in by flying disc-shaped objects known as flugarods. When he entered, he came across luscious green lands with prehistoric animals that were extinct on the surface world. As well as an advanced race of beings who lived in the cities within. He was quickly silenced by the Pentagon. As of recently, the government has declassified aliens acknowledging their existence. We now call UFOs unidentified aerial phenomena. If you notice, most of these craft come from underwater. What was splashed? Splashed. splashed. Mark varying range. This leaves you to wonder, what's really at the center of the Earth? The whole Earth has been living there for 2,500 years. There is one continent inside the Earth and one ocean. Their capital city is built around the original lost Garden of Eden. The vegetation grows like a paradise. The people live to be up to 800 years old. They communicate with telepathy. The inner Earth people have built these androids that fly their flying saucers out to reconnoiter the outer Earth. Our government has been knocking flying saucers out of the sky and back engineering these flying saucers. The people that live in the hollow Earth are not extraterrestrials. They're from the lost tribes of Israel. Now most people will probably hear that video and think this man's talking crazy.